Columbus Day weekend is a celebration of Italian-American culture and those who have made significant contributions to our society. One of this year's great honorees is Carmine DeCidio, former CEO of Ernst & Young, founder of the Sustainable Markets Initiative and a dedicated philanthropist. Let's meet him. I've been uh, to the Columbus Day Parade in Manhattan many times, and it's really a weekend to celebrate the Italian heritage. Former Ernst & Young CEO Carmine DeCidio is a proud product of his heritage. I'm an immigrant uh, from Italy. I was born in Avellino. I was three years old when I came here. I went to the public schools. My mother would make me lunch, and my lunch would be mozzarella, prosciutto, capocollo, things like that. My friends' lunches were mostly bologna and cheese. Carmine learned the value of hard work and education early. My parents were relatively demanding. If I came home with, you know, a 95, they would ask, why not 100? I went to Colgate, my brother went to Brown, and my parents are very proud of that. His desire to continue growing was a foundation for his success. I got a job at Arthur Young, the predecessor to Ernst & Young, and I eventually became more of an expert in financial services. And a new chapter was right around the corner. I met my wife, her name's Amy. We uh, have four kids, three of them are working in New York in finance. My youngest is at Wake Forest studying finance. The Decibios never forgot where they came from. My parents are 87 and 85. They march in the Columbus Day Parade on Long Island. I would consider my story an, an immigrant story, uh, an American dream story. There are certain drives that people have that maybe others don't. He's proud to stand with an organization supporting the next generation of Italian-American leaders. The Columbus Citizens Foundation, it's great all the work they do. I think we need more of that around the world. Carmine, congratulations. Thank you, congratulations. Well deserved. Thank you. And bravo, bravo. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Grazie, grazie. We love that your parents are here today yeah, getting a are. chance to see you receive this honor. What does that mean to you, to be able to tell your story and have them here, to see that little boy that used to eat mozzarella <laughs> sitting at the table, uh, honored here in oh, this parade? It's, it's fantastic. I mean, it's a beautiful day. The parade's awesome. Uh, they got to go on the float, and uh, oh. they're having a great time. And it's, it's just fabulous. It's one of the reasons why I agreed to do this is because my parents can see it. Uh, it, it is ama amazing to see the pictures. I love seeing the pictures of, of you there in, in Glen Cove. But you were telling us you're from a, a small town in Italy. Where are you from? Where, where were you when you left you know, when you were three years old to come here to the States? So um, I was born in a town called Frigento. It's in the province of Avellino. It's a very mountaintop town. Mm -hmm. So you could see, I think, thousands of towns from, from Frigento. It's a very small town, and I have relatives there still. But uh, we immigrated here when I was three years old. Uh, we flew Pan Am, landed at JFK. Pan Am. Um, they didn't have jet bridges then, so we walked down <laughs> the stairs. Um, and then from there, we settled in Glen Cove um, on Long Island. My dad actually, we moved to Everett, Massachusetts for one year. My dad got a job up there when I was very little. Uh, and I ended up marrying a woman named Amy Everett. Oh, really? Oh, wow. How about that? So that was uh? fortuitous. <laughs> Going to ask you, what do you attribute, perhaps I should ask, what role do you think that your uh, heritage played in terms of your success and what you learned from your parents, the drive? I mean, you came here at three, and now you're like ma one of the masters of the universe, right? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> but I, I um, you know, first of all, and this is true for most Italians, and it's true with many, uh, it's all about family, and we really value uh, family. And in fact, at EY, one of the things we always talk about is our EY family, our Ernst & Young family. In fact, my family always jokes around, it's like, Dad, you have your other family. <laughs> and, and, and that's something that's part of our culture. It was part of my culture growing up, and it's part of our culture at Ernst & Young, in terms of everyone being close, everyone taking care of one another. And I think that was that was critical in terms of being successful. Ed Fragento. Yeah, a vicino a Prato la Sera. Prato la Sera. Prato la Sera, yeah. That's where the fam that's Episcopos are all there to this day. So oh. It's, and it's so and it was a it's a mountain town there. Yeah. And it's so wild when you go in there and you see the beautiful property. If you're American, you go. I'll put the house in the back and I'll put a long driveway up. You know what, my yeah. relatives, they farm every bit of that land. That's back awesome. Here. Oh, that's anyway. fantastic. There. The produce coming out of that area of Italy now yes. is tremendous. Oh, it's fantastic. It's tremendous. It's Best really in the world.
And maybe if you'd like to visit the Italia Tourism, making their way right, right here. Uh, Carmine, my congratulations Thanks. with everything. And we appreciate you spending time. And it's just a terrific opportunity for us to get to chat with you. So thank you, sir. Thank you, Mike. Happy Columbus. Thank you all. Sandra, Carmine. thank you. Great Joe. to see you. God bless you, Big brother. Big fan of all of you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank 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 you.